Okay, so yesterday I got a comment. Um, he said, Good day, I want to know if scaling in one direction is possible like a bar chart increases upwards. If we scale a block in Unity and why it stretches both upwards and downwards. And I don't think there's any built-in function. I might be wrong in Unity for this. But I did make a script. I named it resize simple or uh, single direction. And basically I made three uh, variables. And then I called a function inside here and it takes two parameters, resize amount and resize direction. So the amount is a float value of how much you want to expand out that cube, object, whatever it is. This can be applied to anything. And the direction, which is a string, and I used x, y, and z. <clears throat> so um, the inverse is to expand out in the opposite direction, and I'll show you that. So basically, alpha 5 is the top number 5 on your keyboard, if you have that. Not the, not the numpad on the side, the key on top. So, if the string is set to x up here for resize direction, and you have a float value set for resize amount. Um, and inverse equals false. So basically this down here is the same thing, just the opposite. And for each position, it's set the minus down here. <clears throat> and basically how this works, whenever you expand it out normally, let's say you expanded it by one or while well, you scaled it adding one unit you'd have a half a unit on this side and a half a unit on this side basically we're taking half of that amount you're stretching it and moving it in that direction so it would stretch out to here but you also pushed it back so you get the full one unit of stretch on this side so that's what I did here I moved it half the amount you stretched it and then I stretched it the full amount here. Or scaled it. I should be saying scale. And to do that, you have to use transform.local scale. And for the position and the scale, you have to use new vector 3. And obviously, the three parameters are uh, position x, position y, and position z. And then scale x, scale y, scale z. <clears throat> So yeah, you have to have those parameters filled in before you put it here. And with minus, since we're stretching in the opposite direction, by default, if you add to the position, it's going to go in the direction. Let's pretend this is the Z axis. axis. It's going to move in this direction. If it's positive, if it's negative, it's going to move the opposite way. So instead, we're stretching it in this direction and pushing it that way whenever you click inverse. And I'll show you the script in action. So right here is the cube I applied it to. Right here. And then we'll have to start the game. This is my cube, the object. You obviously have to have the script on it. So we'll resize it by 1.2 in the direction of X. Click back on the game. When I press 5, it stretches, but it's not moving backward. It's only moving forward in the direction of X. Now if I click inverse, it does the opposite. Moves in the opposite direction. And <clears throat> you're probably wondering, what if you want to shrink it down? Well, you just take this value here, subtract that amount, and it shrinks back down. And again, this works for Y as well. You can input Y here. Gotta go back to the game. And it stretches upward. 
but keep in mind let's do inverse so we do the other side and then we'll do like negative three if you I didn't set any sort of restriction because I don't know how you want to use it but it, you can stretch it to the point where it goes through itself so now it's inside out technically but um, you can still see it I don't know if you want to change that you can I'm just making it so it's applicable to anybody's situation and that's about it the link to the script will be in the description it'll be posted on pastebin you can copy it use it however you want after recording I just realized something too now let's say you wanted to stretch out this cube smoothly like you wanted it to be in such small amounts you can't tell but constant so it's slowly like um if you want to do that you can go back in here you can change this to fixed update and instead of get key down it would be uh, get key and if you do that you just have to use smaller amounts and my mouse doesn't want to work worth the crap we'll go back in here press play and I'll show you now the fixed update only updates the script um, I think by default every 0 0.02 seconds if that's the case we want to use like maybe 0 0.0 um, 1 we'll try that and then we'll do it in the Y direction so this should be expanding upward now if I press 5 nice and smooth if you want to change how fast it does it, I would not recommend changing the fixed update amount. Although it's an option, I believe it is um, under it's one under one of these two, I believe. Okay, it wouldn't be that one. Might be under. Editor. Time. It would be under time. So fixed time step 0 0.02. So yeah, and the time scale you can change in the script. I'm sure you can change this in the script too, but ah, uh, you know, that that was, should change it for everything, not just that one script. So yeah, that's how you do it smoothly if you want to. Um, if you change that time step to be something too low, I mean, obviously it's not going to run more than the frame rate that your computer can handle. And like right here, 506 frames per second, 749. It's not running right now, but. You know, if you try to run it faster than that, it's not going to work as far as I know. But I just